Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 and my Let's Build project here at Abernathy Farm. This week, I'm going to be working on a special sky lounge at the top of the power pylon here at the farm. This idea actually comes partially from you guys in the comments section last week. I want to keep all of the kitchen areas here at the farm down on the first floor, but I love the idea of a uh, high up lounge or special bar for both the farmers and the Minutemen and it is going to be called the high ground so you know watch out Anakin. In the background here I'm going to have some footage of me laying out the initial foundation uh, to get us up one more layer over the top residential layer that we added last week and I'm just going to have that in the background with no commentary because I want to answer a couple of questions that I've been getting frequently uh, and kind of put some fears to rest for you guys and uh, kind of straighten some things out because it has been a couple of crazy months here on the channel. Everything since early summer has been all over the place and as far as uploading schedules go. I've been traveling a whole bunch and you guys uh, have been asking, you know, what's the plans for Fallout 76? Uh, are there any more full settlement tours coming for Fallout 4? And a couple other questions like what happened to Empire Total War. So as I build here, I figured, hey, I can dive in and answer a couple of these questions for you guys. So first things first, yes, there are still full Fallout 4 settlement tours coming. I still have at least a couple of ideas that I want to have a full tour for uh, before I call it quits. I'm still very much inspired to keep doing these builds, and I've got some really fun ones in mind. It's just that I've basically painted myself into a corner here, guys. With the rebuild of Sanctuary last summer is when it started, and then we had the tour in early fall, and then Bedford Station, those were two of my biggest builds yet. And there's a point where you just can't keep upping the ant. I always point out that I do this part-time in my free time. And these builds had gotten way out of hand as far as time investment goes. And as you might expect, the view counts aren't as high as they used to be because the game has been out for a couple of years. And it's really just the loyal viewers that are left or people who want to see the next crazy thing. And so it's just become a lot harder this year to pour 150, 200 hours into a project uh, that keeps just getting bigger each time. All that being said, there are still tours coming, including, of course, the Minutemen prison there at Thicket Excavations. That's going to be Joel's grand return to the channel after he finished the production of Norman After Seven Years, his personal film. More news on that coming up, but for now, he is actually back and making videos with me once again. We've got a really, really fun episode of Strange Brigade in co-op. If you guys missed that last week, I highly recommend you guys go check it out. We had just stupid amounts of fun. Yeah, keep looking at the graphics. Ooh, I got a Sunfire gem. <laughs> Good thing there's only one. <laughs> Yoink! No! <laughs> no! No! Oh, 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 there's a little bit left for me down here. We might actually stream some of that and uh, also stream the rest of A Way Out. I know you guys have been asking about that as well. We haven't forgotten. We both just had a really, really crazy year as far as scheduling goes. But yeah, you guys can find Joel's glorious return to the channel right there in that episode of Strange Brigade linked in the description or in the card right there on the screen. Uh, a few other notes. Strategy games. I haven't forgotten about you Total War guys and those of you that were watching the Frostpunk series. It's just that, again, the same problem. I've had really, really limited time this year and the view counts were a bit lower for those videos and they had to get uh, just pushed aside for now. It's been a few months, but I'm planning on some kind of strategy Saturday occasionally just to roll some of the strategy game uploads into one day so that it's organized for you guys that are excited to see those videos without uh, cluttering the feed up with a bunch of them. But yeah, guys, beyond that, I am excited about some of the coverage I'm going to have coming up for the, uh, the Daisy Beta, for example, Fallout 76, of course, the final judgment of the Bedford Station Settlement Building Contest from last fall. There's still a bunch of stuff I want to get to, but uh, it has just been a very, very busy year. Uh, definitely a lot of uh, hard work and uh, trying new things, not all those new things sticking. So thank you guys for your patience as I've kind of juggled this workload back and forth of trying to try some new things. And I would encourage you guys to check out an unusual video that I post if you haven't before. If you're here for just Fallout or just Total War. I always upload things here on my channel that I genuinely enjoy, and that goes for the sponsored videos too, like Strange Brigade. So uh, if you guys haven't left your comfort zone here on the channel, 
I'd encourage you to try some of the different stuff and see if you like it. You never know, you might actually enjoy some of those uh, offshoot videos. And uh, I do have some other projects coming up that I think you guys are going to enjoy that are a bit more unusual uh, if you guys have been eyeing the, the workbench back there. For now though, we've got a solid foundation on our Sky Lounge here at Abernathy Farm. Let's go ahead and get to the building. Now unfortunately guys, due to some very odd audio corruption on the recording, uh, most of this isn't going to be uh, live commentary as I'm building, but if you ever wanted to have a short form Let's Build episode, this is going to be the video for you. So I'm just going to walk you guys uh, kind of through the post game here with how I put this uh, sky lounge together and created the high ground bar up here at the top of the tower. So one of the hard parts was trying to figure out how to deal with the glass rooftops that we added in the last episode because those are supposed to be like exclusive housing way up top of the tower here and you're going to have this bar uh, one level above you with people just staring out into you. So there was a lot of trying to maneuver different wall pieces to block the view into those penthouse suites if you will while still giving them some light from their fancy skylights. The framework here for the bar was built from the uh, G2M Workshop shipping crate set. It's got all kinds of frameworks with windows and uh, floor pieces that uh, lets you create some really cool shipping container themed buildings. And I thought a, uh, a shipping container that had been lifted up to the top of the tower, I guess a couple of them, would be a neat uh, shell for the bar. And even though I wasn't able to crouch my way out of this side pylon here, I decided to uh, add a balcony onto the side because it's just so crowded in the center of the pylon uh, once you get this high. Those two shipping containers just do not have a lot of wiggle room. Again, the problem is the collision on the pylon doesn't let me actually just walk out the door of the container onto the deck, so you'll see me hopping back and forth on some floating pieces there in the sky as I build it because I can't just uh, walk out onto it. I guess for a tour I'd have to just crouch my way out there. The collision on that pylon is just uh, too accurate and it's just too low of a strut right there. I ended up going with a, uh, a really rough looking glass piece but framed in a mesh material for the balcony. Definitely gave me vertigo a couple of times but by taking some of these warehouse pieces including a couple of the rough and partially broken warehouse glass windows it created a uh, really unique looking if a bit boxy railing for that balcony. Some of the modded glass pieces that I have just feel way too much like institute pieces, just not uh, wasteland enough. So using some of these pieces from the warehouse I think worked really, really well. <laughs> Again though, lots of covering up views of the tenants down below as we build. For the interior space of our uh, Sky Lounge here, I keep wanting to call it Sky Lounge. It's technically the, uh, the high ground uh, bar, but Sky Lounge just kind of sounds Art Deco and awesome as well. <laughs> I used mostly homemaker pieces here, lots of homemaker countertops, homemaker stools, and a couple of the uh, homemaker tables just lining the outside of the windows there. And uh, I decided to use some of the homemaker lights that actually cast shadows for the interior lighting just because the shadows look so good in small enclosed spaces. For the balcony, I'm going back out now and adding some of the stringed hanging lights because it's a balcony. You gotta have some stringed lights, right? I'm gonna hang those off of the uh, recruitment beacon for the settlement. And then I'm gonna go back to detailing the interior here with some uh, scrappy tablecloth hangings over the windows. And I'll run those hangings basically uh, all around the outside of the balcony area there. And I'm also going to go through with a little bit of some Boston-style decorations. I figure uh, buoys and stuff like that, you've got a thousand of them that you can uh, just get your hands on for decoration. And hey, it's the apocalypse. You'll take what you can get, right? So buoys for decoration, along with the Edo Tronic there. I figure there's not a whole lot of room for cooking up here. So lots of prepackaged food and snacks being sold from the vending machines. 
From there, I did a bunch of digging through the miscellaneous decorations category and got some of the really keystone decorations for the balcony and the bar itself. Stuff like our uh, jukebox here, we've got some of the uh, ashtrays, a new Coca-Cola machine, some uh, beer barrels there, lots of stuff that just really fills out the bar look. Uh, some potted plants for the corner there, and lots of those uh, hanging, uh, glowing drink bottle lights. I love the effect that those give. And even a shredded curtain there for our door just feels like a nice windy bar up there in the sky. Speaking of windy, I definitely realized that it would be pretty chilly up here. And this is Boston after all. So I added one of our uh, wood stoves up top. Had to remove a couple of chairs and move some stuff around, but I figured a heat source would be very important this high up. And uh, from there, basically the decorations just progressed. I did a lot of decorating for this one because uh, unlike last time where we built tons of verticality, uh, just big structure, this is a, a smaller area, but lots more detail to work on. So I've got tons of the uh, creative clutter decorations that you would expect. Some of the stocked fridges and uh, empty plates and stuff like that for the countertops. Lots of small details just to fill things out. And I also decided that that extra large Nuka-Cola machine was just too much uh, in the way out there in the balcony, so I replaced it with one of the smaller ones. And then you gotta add in your deck chairs for our different tables. I'm gonna go with the one patio table here, and then a smaller uh, barrel style table to go along with it out there on that deck. I managed to avoid the temptation of using uh, the Fat Man shelf for the alcohol once again, and did some swapping around with the uh, do-it-yourself uh, countertops here. That'll give us some more room for storage, and then it's quite a bit of do-it-yourself clutter decorations to fill things out on the interior of the bar, which is starting to look really sharp with that uh, shadow casting light. Lots and lots of creative clutter decorations, a few wall decorations. Finally, as far as paintings go, uh, this guy pointing up towards the alcohol made me laugh because, again, it's the uh, the high ground bar. He's pointing up at the booze. Eh, it kind of works, I think. I'm also going to place a couple of advertisements on the lower balcony deck and some lighting to go along with that. And it wouldn't be a bar without your neon sign, which kind of brings things together. Uh, at this point, I was basically wrapping up the uh, the main part of the build here as far as the let's build with you guys goes I still after the recording stopped did about a half an hour of extra work adding in some missing supports and some uh, awnings and stuff like that but I really think it came together and seeing some of the let's build stuff was again lost due to audio corruption I'm gonna play a whole bunch of the uh, extra cinematic clips from the end of my uh, time here with this part of the build so you guys can kind of see the finished product here which is probably closer to finish than most of my let's build projects because again this one did get so detailed for now guys i hope you enjoyed this uh slightly shorter let's build episode and uh if you guys have any additional questions let me know i hope that bit of the faq there at the start of the video was helpful for you guys and uh, again, don't forget to check out that Strange Brigade video. It is a blast. For now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. If you have any additional questions for me, just go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I do try and go through just about all of those whenever I can.